There you are. Welcome back to Mankay Workshop. Thank you very much for joining me. So, carrying on with this, uh, Robert's R3... Is it a 300? 200 this? It's the R... What is it? Oh, it's the R300. I forget, I forget. I get them mixed up. 300, 200. I've been going over and over in my head whether or not... Let's just recap on what we've done. Basically took the sh chassis out and we've zapped these two AF117s here and here. Here, here and here. And now the set works. We've found the battery snap to go on there that needs soldering back on. And it's working fine. Now, we do know that these electrolytics, I think they're TCC Alka modes or... That's it. Yeah, they're, they're Alkamos. They're going to be extremely unreliable and they are going to fail. They're going to be well out of spec. Of spec. As are these, there's one hidden down there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Hunt uh, non polarized capacitors. And they're going to be. They're going to be well out of spec too and they are going to fail. Possibly blowing the output. They could blow anything really if they fail, depending on which one. Now I hate to. I, I absolutely love how it looks original. And I was thinking, I'm not going to sell this set. It's going to sit on a shelf in my collection, uh, just to have one. As I've got the R200 as well, it goes nicely with that. We are going to get on with uh, restoring this case, by the way, later. So should I, I've got all, I've got all, everything in stock to change these. Um, I'm not sure on the values of these, I've not looked at the schematic yet. Uh, I know I've got all the Hunt's uh, non-polarised ones in stock. And these are these guys. Get one out of the case. Um, to replace, is that in shot? Yeah, to replace them. So they're going to sort of... They're going to look okay. I suppose if I get some black uh, through hole rather than axial capacitors, it won't look too bad to replace these guys. Let's have a look at the other side of the board. There's not too many wires to get in the way. I should. I could take the. I think what I'd do is take this uh, the antenna, the aerial off, this ferrite rod aerial that I haven't put on properly, you can see it's out of, it's out of line here, I'll be careful with these, it's pretty delicate. I could put that over here so it, it clears the board, fairly easy to work on. Uh, in other videos, you've seen me recap other videos, can do it no problem. I just kind of like the originality of this set. No, let's let's let me pause now. Have another think, but I think we're going to go for it. I think we're going to recap the whole board while while it's out of the chassis. So okay, let's get this um, let's get this out of the way. This ferrite rod, and as we lift it up, like you can see, there's a, a black and a green wire down this end of the board. I think once they're off, then we should be able to clear clear the board completely so what I'm going to do before we get all crazy is just take a picture of it so we know where them wires go back and if you look on this piece of paper just draw a little diagram so don't forget oh there they go let's get the soldering iron on I've got, I'm still using this Weller 25 vintage iron. I quite like this. I, I did put a, a fine tip on it. it. It's good for this sort of work. I, mean, I don't know whether I prefer the Weller or the Antex. They're, they're both good irons, these vintage ones. Do like them a lot. Let's just heat this up now. So we can get this black wire off. Of course, now I'm filming. You don't want to come off. <laughs> See, this is what happens for real. There we go, it's off. And the green one. There we go, that one came off easy, didn't it? And now we can move that 
out of the way. What I think I'll do is is just tape it out of the way there. Let's get some masking tape and just tape that up out of the way. It's nice and safe. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm doing this. It's because in the past I've uh, I'm, I'm out of shot here a bit. Aren't I? I've managed to burn wires with the soldering iron. Easy done when you're concentrating on an area. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? Let's use that bit to pull this wire away, take that up out of the way. You're concentrating on an area so much that you forget about another area that you burn. So let's get that safely out of the way. Well, this this masking tape's not very good. Not very sticky at all. That. Try another bit. Really doesn't feel at all sticky. Oh, that's rubbish, isn't it? Let's get some. Um, let's just go over it with some electrical tape, just to hold the airville out of the way while we uh, mess about soldering. Yeah, that, this is rubbish. This. Chuck that. Sorry, I won't be doing that stuff again. I actually got that from a local shop as well. I try to buy local. It's always good, but uh, not in that instance. Right, so there we go. That makes that board now. As you can see, is it dark in here? As you can see, let's get a bit more light on. Is that better? Just got another light. As you can see, that board now is a lot more open and free to work on. So what I'm going to do is re-stick that down, it's coming off again, is start in this area to get at this one under here, because that looks the trickiest. What are we at here? I might, we might as well zap that AF117. What I'll do, I'll, I'll pull this cap out first and we'll test it. We, don't worry, it's not going to be a, a long, boring video, another, yet another recap on a radio. You can see loads of them all over YouTube. But we'll 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 test one of these and we'll test one of the hunts on video just to see how ridiculously bad they are. So I'll pause now while I pull the, should I pause or should I just pull that cap out while we're on? Let's have a look. Ah, again you see I need to lean over. This is a problem I have, I need to lean over to get at it, and all you'll see is the back of my head. So I'm basically gonna Take that cap out, use a solder sucker, and then we'll sling it on the machine and test it. I'll just pull it all the way up, nearly forgot. Before we do pull this cap out, what I've done here, if you look, because they don't mark the Roberts boards, I've done a little diagram that I can understand. So, that cap's that one, that cap's that one, there, there, and here, here, and here. And the, the positives, I've just made a little diagram so I know, because Roberts don't mark the board, I know which way they go. And again, what I'll do, I've got masking tape stuck on me. What I'll do is, again, dead easy, take a picture. It does, <laughs> does make life easier. Okay, I'll pull that cat now. Whoop. Where are we going? Here we are. Okay, just getting a bit closer there. So we've pulled this uh, Elkamode, Elkamode TCC cap out and it is a, what is it? Yeah, it's a 10 UF cap, which we all know is uh, is not UF really, it's, it's peak if I've had something. So here's its replacement, which is a, a 10 UF cap and this one's at 50 volts. This one is at, uh, what, what is this one at? They do look nice, these things. I pulled it out really cleanly. Well, this one's at 50 volts as well. Now, what I think I'm going to do is... Sorry about that, that's my dog barking. Is drill in here, and this one actually fits in. So, we can drill, and we can then stick this one in here, and put this back in the set, keeping its look original and hopefully we'll be able to do the same with the rest of these guys 
I'm, I'm just going to have a go at doing that. I know it, it, it takes a bit of time to do, but it, in my opinion, it, it's worth the effort. It just keeps the set looking original. Um, I had some sellotape around it holding that wire on. Um, oh yeah, we need to test it. Let's test it now while we've got close up. Are we too close up? I think we are. Just pull you out a little bit. Let's test it. Okay. See what it says. It says it's 14, so it's gone nearly 14 and a half. So it's it's gone way over 50 percent and ESR 0.92. That's that's not so good. And let's test this one. I, I feel quite happy now that we can repack these ones, and the radio will keep a lot of its originality. So there's a new one. Let's see what this guy says. It, yeah, it's just under 10 and much much better which you'd expect it's a new cap so okay we'll get on and do this uh what i'll do i'll i'll, I'll drill this out pop this in and then show you guys before i put it back in the set okay so well, i decided to do a bit something a bit different rather than drill the uh the the end off this because they because they sit without the bases and on show I just chopped the end off with a with a hacksaw, uh, which is fun because now we can and then we can see what's actually inside it. I've got this cloth here because it's it's one of them baby whites because they, they tend to be mucky these. Just to see what's inside it, if we start to pull this out, it just snaps off. So that's the that's a metal um, metal piece for contact into this and mucky stuff. Which is basically, I think, paper just wrapped round. This is what is coming out of the thing. So let's dig some of this out. Don't know if you're enjoying this. I don't know if it makes good video in or not to see what's in an old Elka mode capacitor. But it just looks like horrible yucky wet material you see what I'm, I'm trying to do a dig a hole big enough now to fit one of these guys in of course it doesn't fit yet so I'm gonna keep digging this out oh it's pushed it in we can pull the hole that out they all react differently these when you start Pulling the, the guts out. I'm actually going to grab all of it, pull a bit out. Hoping that cap's going to fit in there. Put some tweezers on it, see if we can get this stuff out. It's like reality TV, this, isn't it? This is how it actually is when you start messing about with these things. Oh, there we go. The whole lot's coming now. There we go. It is a coil of paper, and I think it has like um, paper and metal. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Like <laughs> pulling a lump of wax out of somebody's ear. Not that I've done that. There you go. That, that's the inside bit. We... Ooh, it's it's gooey and horrible. If we pull it apart. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job of pulling this apart. It's all just crumbling away. So what it is, is is paper and then foil just wrapped around. And imagine the paper starts to disintegrate after time. And I think this is why we have to change these, because if it, if it does it, it'll short and just send a current straight the way through and blow everything else up, I think. Let's see. Oh, they fit really nice now. What I'll do, I'll fire some... Uh, wipe my fingers. Catch some horrible disease off this gunk inside it. What I'll do, I'll fire some hot glue. I 
for my hot glue gun in there stick that on and it disguises that that cap we've still got plenty of legs at the bottom to put back in the board it's a bit rough around the edges so I'll get a file and uh, make it nice and smooth and I'll try to cut all the others so there's exact same size just get a little file is it dragging on too boring in this video? Who knows? Let's take the burr off the end. Let's see how it'll sit back on the board. So they're all going to look a little bit shorter, but it's still going to keep its original look, this. It actually went that way, didn't it? And we'll, we'll stick... We'll snip that leg off so it uh, doesn't protrude too much. Let's just get the side snips on it. I'm glad that piece didn't end up in my eye. Can we still see? Yeah, we still see the value of it. So the next monkey like me that comes in in 50 years time or something, if they don't, it saves you just reading the schematic, you can see the value. And it keeps this set looking original. Right, enough of me waffling on. Let's get this uh, hot glued in there. We'll get it back on the board. Oh actually while well, we've got while well, we've got some space here we need to pull that bad boy out that's hidden down there that hunt. You see it? So we'll pull that and we'll sling that on the tester. We'll replace that and then we'll put this electrolytic capacitor back in um, while we've got the space to do it. Okay Okay, let's um, let's show how how it really is for me how I do these things. So there's the AF one one seven. Now that's got it's got four legs that are like a square group together. There's the Hunt's capacitor we're after. So then you flip the board open <laughs> over and everything looks like it's gone in a mirror. So you don't know where anything is. But there's a few telltale signs. Let me get this in to see if it works. I'm hoping it's clear. So with my pointer now, you see these two holes here, they are that Elkamo capacitor just pulled out. Now I know going this way on the board, next to it is the AF117. And like we said before, that they are that they tend to be four grouped together, which I can see there. Let me get a better pointer. You can see there one two three four you can see them so imagine that that hunt capacitor is these two little guys here these joints here that that we're after to remove so what i do is to get the soldering iron in and i've put the board the board down i don't know where i'm going this is tricky for me because of the camera angle and just heat up Solder. I can't. I can't get this solder sucker in because of this. Let's pull that up a bit. So where are we again? So we wanted to pull. We said it was there, didn't we? So heat it up and then suck the solder off. Same on the other part. I like to work pretty quickly because the more heat you put on the board, the more risk you have at lifting the traces. And then on the other side, I'll just see if it's wobbly and loose. It's quite warm, so we've got it. 
what I'll do now, I'm, I'm struggling with this guys because I've got this in the way, I'm trying to work at a funny angle, is I'll just lift the legs up nice and straight and then hopefully it'll just pull out nice and clean. So that's, that's how I do it anyway. <laughs> hey I hope I've got to show you this. So I went to, to pull it out and what I thought I'd do is just with some forceps just hold the capacitor and just, just gently pull it out <laughs> and the whole thing just crumbled away. The outer casing just, you see that, it just crumbled away. There's another bit of it. Luckily I had a look at it before the case crumbled away and it's a uh, 0 0.02 um, which I think we've got a replacement. I ain't going to be able to test this. It's it's still not out yet. A uh, little bit of solder holding it on the other side of the board. Uh, see that AF117 is pushed out of the way. Well, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll pull it out now and then we'll, we'll have a look at <laughs> We can already see what's inside this because um, the outer case has crumbled away, fell off. So, oh, where are we in focus? There we go. It's out, and that is what's left with it, of it. And you can see the, where it's come out of. And what happened when I pulled it out is I must have put, uh, you saw how little here I put, but that tracer is lifting. This one, this one survived okay. That one's lifted. They are extremely delicate, these boards. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue that tracer down uh, and then stick the new cap in, which is... The, should we put this Should we put this on the meter and see what, see what it says? Anyway, this, this fragment that's left of it. Let's pop it on the meter, see what it says. Probably say damaged or unknown part, because it, in fact, that it's all still there without its uh, without its shell. Let's put here we go. Test. See the meter says notices anything about it. Oh, it does. Uh, Thirty-six point one nine NF. You see, that's had it. Absolutely had it. It's gone up, it should be, that should say uh, 20. Oh no, it, it was 0.02, it's well out that, isn't it? That's absolutely had it. Here's the one that's going in its place. It's getting on this video, isn't it? Oh no, it hasn't had it, has it? This, let's get the other meat. I'm confusing. It's dead easy for me to do. I'm confusing myself. Let's get this guy on. I, I understand this meter a little bit more, better than the other one. Let's see what that says now. Would you believe it? It's reading 0 0.03 and it should be 0 0.02. Let's put this guy that's going in its place. It will be leaky, the one I've took out, and that's reading exactly the same. But this one won't be leaky, and this one will be okay. So anyway, I'm going on and on and on and on and on and on about this. I'm going to get on with this. You see what I'm doing. So I'm going to replace. Next time you see this, it will all be done. All these replaced. We've done a hunts. We've done an alka mode. And there's one, two, three, four more alka modes to do. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more hunts to do. So I'm going to wrap this video up now um, <laughs> while I get on with uh, with recapping this thing and then in the next video we'll give it a test, see if it works, see if we broke it. At least we'll know if it doesn't work that it's one of these caps that's uh, caused the problem. Uh, I'll get on and I'll restick the tracer down and get on with recapping the whole board. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it a little bit entertaining. Not edited much on this one. Although I have started editing videos a little bit. Just when they, when they go on too much and it's, it's too boring. Anyway, be good to each other and catch you in the next one. Bye.